Marte takes off. The pitch is upstairs. The throw down to second. Goes into the run and ricochets out of the shallow left center. If the throw's on the bag, they get him. And by plenty, it seems. Carlos will get charged with an error, allowing Marte to advance to third. Even if it was a high fastball, much easier pitch to throw. As a catcher, the release was quick. Throw runs right into Marte. Yeah, they're going to get him if that ball was at the base. Quick release. The tailing action on the throw for Perez, of course, now the infield in. And definitely going to get him. Fortunately enough for Ergie, he didn't go right into the slide for Marte. Mike Sosha holding things up here, trying to figure out what they could be looking at. Maybe if he touched. Okay, this sounds to me like they're going to appeal second base. He never touched the bag then. Because Mike was looking back at Dino. It's kind of an odd time for him to come out here. That's all I can think of here. So he slid into second, popped up, and then just went to third without touching the base, maybe? But that's my guess. It's, it's an odd visit right there. It's... Yeah. It's also uh, what they're going to try to do. They're going to appeal yeah. second. They're going to have him go in a stretch position, step off the pitching rubber, then throw to second. Kerwin Danley's the second base umpire, so he'll step off. He'll look the runner back, throw to second base, and he's out. He never touched second base. So he slid into the bag, into the area, never touched the base before advancing to third. That's, that's, ex that's an excellent job by the whole coaching staff of the Angels to see that and to make that call and have Mike Sosha run out to Jerry Weaver to make sure to go through the proper protocol as far as what you're supposed to do. And he looks like he's a little short of the base right there and still hasn't touched the base because that baseball was in front.